Hello everyone and welcome back to WebAssembly. Um, today we're going to be looking at our second or third, if you count uh, the other two separately, um, our third method of exporting functions. So last time we looked at C call and C wrap and we saw how when you compiled your WASM file or the C file rather, you got a JS file and a WASM file and you had to send those both to the browser. Streaming is going to be a bit less expensive uh, it's not going to require the JS file. Um, we'll see something a little weird about it where you have to compile it as with the JS file, but you won't need to send it actually. We can just stream from the WASM file. So let's go ahead and we'll create a, a new file and we'll call it uh, just uh, streaming.c and we'll include mscripten.h as before. And then we will we'll define a function here. Um, Let's call it uh, mscripten keep alive for the tag and we'll call it sum of first n ints. So it returns an integer and sum of n ints and we pass in an integer n. And uh, you know, we the of little formula here is just return n times n plus one divided by two. Don't worry about this. That's just a little bit of math. Um, and then let's go ahead and compile this. So we're in streaming and we're going to say um, emcc streaming.c dash o and you have to do streaming.js. Make sure that's there. And we're going to get our JavaScript file. And well, you might be wondering, well, Michael, why'd you do that? Uh, well, it doesn't work if you just do the WASM file um, for some reason, but I believe it has to do with ac actually prepping the the functions to be exported so it can be used in javascript because eventually we are going to have to do javascript as our interface so we'll do streaming.html let's actually just copy the wrapping.html in here and i'm just going to keep the first input and i'm going to get rid of everything else i'm going to keep the function definition but i'm going to get rid of the add nums and then also make sure to get rid of the script source tag so this will be new one streaming okay so on the button click we run this function run wasm okay um so let's let's take a look at this so we're going to do something called streaming which will essentially take our wasm content and stream it into assembly or just stream it so that JavaScript can use it. So we will start by calling webassembly dot instantiate streaming. Oops, I did a slash, not a dot. Instantiate streaming. And we have to pass in a source. So that's going to be with a fetch call. So fetch main.wasm, and this will be on the server. And then the second argument is just an empty uh, brackets. These are just going to be imports, but we'll talk about those later on. So this is going to be an async function. So we have to call dot then, and it returns results. And with the results, we now have our exported function. So we have taken main.wasm, or not main.wasm, sorry. It should be wrapping.wasm, or no, streaming.wasm. So we take our streaming file, and we now have all of our exported functions in results. So we're going to get the, the value in A. So var A is equal to document dot query selector hashtag A dot value. And then we do we're calculate the results. So var sum is going to be, and this is going to be a tricky thing. So results dot instance dot exports dot sum. And this name has to be the exact same. So sum of an ints like so and you just pass an a as the argument and then we can also just go ahead and have a an output as a label or just a, a paragraph so we'll do p id is equal to return and it's empty and then all we can just do now is document dot query selector hashtag out dot inner 
HTML plus equals, and we'll just do um, the sum, or we'll do A goes to the sum, and we'll also do a break line. So that's just adding the output to this value here. So let's go ahead and we'll restart our server. And here we are. And I'm just going to go to the console. So we'll, we'll just type in a number, 15, trigger. All right, 15 goes to 120. I don't know if you can see it there, but and if we keep doing it, it'll keep adding to the label. So this is the sum of the first 15 integers, believe it or not. What is the difference though? Well, if you remember, we could just delete this JS file. Let's delete it. Move to recycling bin. Reload. And you will see in our sources that we don't need, um, we don't need JS at all. So I'm going to also just type in 15 and you'll see that we need streaming.wasm, but not streaming.js. So we fetch the wasm file and stream it and then we compile it or not compile it, but just do whatever with it. And then it is now stored in results. So results.instance.exports.sum. This is so much easier and so much less clunky than with the wrapping. You saw with the wrapping, we had to do module.c wrap. You had to wrap it a name. You had to specify parameters. Here, it's not specified, so that could be a little annoying. But if you remember what the parameters are from the C file, then you should be good to go. Um, yeah. And then another consideration might be, well, why do we want, do we want to fetch it every time? Well, there's a workaround to that. So if we go into the script tag and go about out of the function so it's going to run when we load the script or load the html file and we'll say variable um, exports and then we're going to uh, do the same call to instantiate streaming so web assembly dot instantiate streaming and it'll still be a fetch on streaming dot wasm and an empty block there or an empty object and let me do a dot then results and we're just going to store the exports in um, the function in the variable so exports is equal to results dot instance dot exports just like so and then now in run wasm all we have to do is instead of streaming everything we can simply just get rid of that and get rid of this and then replace the call to some of n ints with just exports dot sum of n ints. So we store the variable or we create the variable so it's accessible globally. And then we stream whenever we load the HTML file. Exports is equal to results dot instance dot exports. So we store that variable and then we can access it here. So let's go to our back here and let's go back to the sources. So we'll reload and you see that the HTML file, if you slow the video down, but you can also just take my word for it, the HTML file is loaded and then it immediately loads the WASM file afterwards. So let's do um, 16 this time and we trigger, 16 goes to 136 and it's still working. You can do that and you can keep going all you want and it will, yeah, it'll do that. So that is streaming and you know, let's try doing two, two files. Why not make it a bit like a library? Let's get an introduction into that. So we'll do, we'll have a, a streaming util.c and this will just be where we define a couple extra functions. So instead of doing this, let's, let's separate this out. Why, why not? We'll do an integer add which takes an int a and int b, and these are, this is just a definition. Integer subtract, integer a and integer b, again, just a definition. Int multiply, int a and int b, and then int divide, int a and int b. And then we'll define these four functions in streaming util.c, and we also have to include mscript and .h. And then we have to have the keep alive tag on all of them. And 
and then we'll just define these as normal or as we would with any C with any uh, function. So return a plus B return oops a minus B return a times B and then return a divided by B. So these are a bunch of helper functions and we have them def defined up here in our streaming.c file so we do have access to them. So when we do sum of n ints, what we can just do instead of doing this easy calculation is let's divide it up into functions. So let's say return, divide, we're gonna say the first argument is going to be multiply n, the second argument will be add n and one. So we add, do n plus one, that's the parentheses term, and then n times that in this multiply term, and then we have to divide the multiplication by two, like that, and this is our function. Let's go ahead and actually compile this now. So we have our emcc, and just like in gcc, you can specify several source files. I believe it was streaming util, yeah, dot c. So assembly doesn't care how many files you have. It just concatenates everything and it will run through all the files. Um, but if we run this, you're all good. And we still have nothing, nothing new. The JS file we can get, get rid of. Um, so let's go back here. We're on a streaming.html. Once again, it's loaded our WASM file and we'll do 167, 14,028. That looks right. We'll just do 10 to make sure because I believe that's 55. Yeah, that is correct. So it works. And we have, we've now learned how to use multiple files. And another big difference is when we look at this, it's this, it's such a simple command. You just specify your source files and the name of the output, but it has to be a, J, a JS file just for the exports, but you can delete it right after. But there's no exports, there's no keep alive, there's none of that that you would need if we were to use module.c call or crap. So this streaming is just another way that you can export functions and it makes it just a little bit easier and a little bit um, easier on the programmer. Um, yeah, that is uh, streaming. So uh, the next one, I'm not sure what we'll do. We'll probably look into some memory stuff and some of the extra parameters that you can pass in to um, instantiate streaming. So that'll be this. Um, but yeah, until then, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.